A sidebar is a container for displaying information, usually with widgets, and typically refers to information placed beside the main content area. The Suffusion theme has six areas that it refers to as sidebars that can be configured in many different ways. We'll use a single right sidebar for our design, which is the theme default. Sidebars can be styled and configured under Suffusion Options under the Sidebar tab. On our site, this is Sidebar 1, which we'll leave at the default settings. Navigate to the Appearance Admin panel and click Widgets. Sidebar 1 is the first sidebar in the right column. It contains the default widget set by the theme, but these can be deleted. The sidebar for our design will have a product image with a brief description and an Add to Cart button. This sidebar can also be used for ebook offers, a sign up to a list, or a place for ads. For this page, we're using two text box widgets for the information one for the image itself, and the other for the description and the button. You can easily use one text box and add other widgets as needed. Adjust this to your site needs. To add the image, we'll use our template we created earlier. Navigate to the Post Admin panel and click All Post. Locate the template file and click Edit. At this point, this should be a familiar process. Click the Visual Mode. Click the Upload icon to upload the image. and then add it to the post. Click HTML mode and copy the code. If you have a separate tabs open for widgets, then switch to that. Otherwise, click Widgets under the Appearance Admin panel and add the code to the Sidebar 1 widget text box. Repeat this process for the content and the Buy button. This Buy button can be connected to any payment system you like, like ClickBank, AuthorizeNet, or PayPal. The Buy button used here is connected to a ClickBank account. You can enter that information by clicking on the icon to select it, and then clicking the Link icon while in the visual mode. If you want to connect to a page that you created, then click the Or Link to Existing Content for a drop-down to select that content page. Previewing the landing page will now display the image, the description, and the Buy button. We've almost completed our design and set up for the site. The final step is to save the landing page and then tell WordPress to display it when someone visits the site. For that, navigate to the Pages Admin panel and locate the landing page that we've been designing. Make any changes that are needed and click the Publish button. The page is now live, but it doesn't show us the page when someone visits the site. To do that, we need to change the setting to tell WordPress that this is the main or index page we want visitors to see. Navigate to the Settings Admin panel and click Reading. At the top of the screen is the front page of displays. These settings control the index or main page for the site. By default, it's set to a blog site and will display post in chronological order starting with the latest first. We want to use this landing page, which is a static page, so select the A Static Page button. In the Front Page drop-down menu, select the landing page we created. Now, if you have a blog that you want to use on a site, then in order for visitors to see any posts for that blog, we need to tell WordPress where to display those posts. In the Post Page drop-down, select the blog page that we created earlier. If you remember, we've already created a link in the header for this page. Without this link, then any post you do will not be easily accessible. Now click the Save Changes button. Visiting the site now will display the landing page. Congratulations! That completes the starting of the site. Now you can work on tweaking the design, SEO, traffic, and monetizing the site.